Hi guys, so this is going to be my first official YouTube debut. Well, not really, but kinda. I wanted to show you guys some behind the scenes on what I do. My name is Kiana Watson. I am a real estate broker owner in the Metro Atlanta area. I also own the number one online real estate training platform, Agent Tools for Success, where we have over 19,000 enrollees. So today, today we're preparing for these houses that are on the market. So I represent a developer her name is Delphine her company is Nick and Brothers and we have all these beautiful properties that we're going to bring to the market list and sell um, I have Selena here Selena is part of my concierge sales team <laughs> but so we're going to get going right away so let's get started I want you guys to kind of see what it takes to represent developers and get this work done like can i say that again represent developers <laughs> all right so these are supposed to be all the same floor plans but what they do is something a little different in each one so when you come in this one you see it's flipped right what i like the most about this one of course is the wall design they always do a wall design, but it's a little different each time. And so this wall design is very elegant. I do love the way that it's laid out. You see the consistency with the quartz countertops. These are all white cabinets. They're known for these huge pantries, so I love that. So I really wanna get my walkthrough on to see when I first saw this one, I thought this was going to be like the owner suite, but this is a guest bedroom. It's huge. Let's see who's reaching out. Hmm, looks a little scary out here, but let's go. <laughs> Look how amazing this is. It's flat. These are all on basement, so we're elevated here because we're on the basement. But this porch itself having a covered porch is incredible especially in georgia we have the best weather y'all know i love atl atl shoddy all right so <clears throat> the dynamic of this home is pretty much consistent with what they always deliver with the loft i'm going to see what they have on the other house because the other one i believe has that open space so come follow me. Listen, y'all, I try to make light of the day, but it's a lot of hard work, a lot of negotiation strategies. So I need to get these properties sold. These are some pre-sales, so follow me. Let me show you the inside of this one. What I do love most about this one is the design wall. Does this wall look familiar, you guys? Does it look familiar? Maybe, maybe not. I have the same wall in my office, at my, <laughs> at my office, but I love the lighting fixtures. They chose them to be simple. Um, there's a contrast. So you see the contrast of having the quartz countertops with the black cabinets and the white cabinets behind it. You see that they really chose some very intricate fixtures for this house to kind of give it a little bit more flavor. You still have the covered patio, this open space. And I know I didn't take you guys upstairs on the last house, so let's go upstairs on this one. At least we have a little rail to hold on to. Sounds like they're doing some work up here. Smells like they're doing work. We can't come up here. Bye. We can't come up here, y'all, because they're still doing the floors. <laughs> but the floors are being done. We're just taking in the fumes. All right, I think we need to get up out of here and go to the next house. <laughs> So this is the house that has not been painted yet, which is really, really cool. Um, I think the houses look great black and white though. But the concrete is in, all these homes are on the basement. So I'm going to show you the basement first. 
because we haven't seen a basement yet. And then we'll go to the last one. So this one's in progress. And what she does is, when the, my developer does is, they paint the brick white. So you see how it looks in its raw form before they bring the painters out. Now this one, this one is really one of my favorite ones. Let me show you why. Come here. Instead of a loft, they have a huge two-story family room. This is what everybody wants. This is what everybody's been looking for. I know, I know you're going to love this one. Um, what it does is it takes away that additional loft area, but this adds so much light to the space. Like I love this floor plan. I've been asking my developer to build more like this. So I can't wait to see it finished. Let me show you guys what's going on over here. This one's not complete yet. As you can see, countertops are not in yet, but if you come in under the pre-sale, you'll be guaranteed to lock this property in and lock in the price before things shift because you know we're headed to the spring market right now, you guys, and I can foresee prices going up. I don't want to go up there because it looks a little dangerous. <laughs> There's nothing to protect us, but I at least want you guys to see this space. It is awesome. Let's go down to the basement at the very least. <laughs> Whoa, 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 hold on, let me turn my flashlight on. You know, this is a, this is a, this is a vlog, y'all, bear with us. <laughs> All right, come on. I just want to see what's going on. Okay, so you have two ways to go down the stairs, and it is, okay, we're good. Because there's lighting in the basement. <clears throat> Like most basements, when you guys look to purchase a home, if you're, there is a basement, the basement will not be finished, but it will be framed. So you can see that it's already framed. They'll, of course, of course clean all this up, um, change out any windows. You'll have your plumbing tap-ins here. So typically when you do buy a home with a basement and it's unfinished, most new construction homes come with unfinished basements, you can actually hire a company. I know an amazing company myself. Shout out to WRC Development. <laughs> Shameless plug, that's my husband and I development company. We build houses as well, and we do renovations. So I know what the cost would be. You just kind of come in and you do drywall, do flooring, um, add whatever you want to add to the um, bathrooms, fill that out, and you'll be done. So it's not a project that is something that should be intimidating to you. You should be excited to customize a basement that's unfinished, right? So this is how big these basements are, and this is really huge. You see space here, you have space there, and you have exterior entry. So this home, you can build your own pool back here, still have access and turn this into a nice lounge area. I love that. So we're gonna go on to the next property. We got property number three. No, that property number four, because we did three already. And we should be done. So vlogging, I'm gonna tell y'all, I'm gonna stick beside it. But it's become <laughs> doing the work, showing the work. It is definitely more work, but I feel like this will kind of expose you guys to more of what really happens behind the pretty photos, what really happens behind the video shoots and what really happens behind the closings. So often in real estate, I feel like I inspire a lot of people to get in this industry, but you don't see the amount of work, right? The amount of invoices that we pay to list and market these properties, the time it takes to prepare these properties to get on the market, and the number of times our phones ring all day negotiating contracts. But this is the life I chose. I love this business. I want you guys to see the business for what it is on, on my page and not what you think it is. That way you walk into it with your eyes wide open. And um, also with future buyers, I think it's really important for you guys to see it as well. Future sellers to see how much work does it take to sell a home. Here we are. House number four. Let's see what this one has to offer. Okay. So we have this one. This one does not have the two-story foyer. 
but you can see the cabinets are in and they instead of going with the black they went with the gray so you have the gray cabinet here you have the tile backsplash you see we have the gray background here and this one again have the has the coffered ceiling because the difference between the last one and this one right the other one was open so we lost some of the space from having that so since it's closed, you have an oversized loft upstairs. Let me show you how that looks. I feel like I'm earning my, my classy dinner and cocktails tonight, baby. I am earning it. So this is how the loft looks. So if you were to choose the one with the double family room with the windows then you would lose half of this loft because this is going to be an additional like family room upstairs and the great thing i love about these floor plans i cannot leave without showing you this right here is a mirror she my, my developer is known for placing a mirror right here i think it's a great touch but when you come into this room it is the bathroom in the closet for me <laughs> look at this huge bathroom and i feel like they thought of everything because you have a separate water closet what is a water closet it's just a small bathroom it's a half bathroom but a water closet just sounds fancy and we are fancy here so we're going to be fancy a water closet but look at how big this closet is huge closet lots of space lots of shelving so this is the plus with this floor plan so i have taken you through not one not two not three but four houses plus a house that's already been complete this is a day in the life of kiana watson right this is a day in the life of a real estate broker mogul and this is just part of the day i hope that you enjoyed this video um, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get some views up over here. If you want to move to the Metro Atlanta area, make sure you contact me. All right. All right. Let me get you downstairs. We're going to do one more walkthrough before we call it a day. I almost feel like I'm part of MTV Cribs. Have you, did you guys used to watch MTV Cribs? I used to <laughs> watch MTV Cribs and be feeling like one day that's going to be me. So <laughs> I'm going to let y'all know. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now get out of my house. <laughs>